Hey everyone, it's Dan and we are doing a Porsche 997.2 Carrera 3.8 liter ECU flash today here at Vivid Racing. So let's check it out. Now the Porsche is one of my favorite vehicles having owned so many different ones over the years. Uh, this one is awesome. It is a 2010 997.2 Carrera S. This features the 3.8 liter engine comes stock with 385 horsepower. This is a PDK, so it is extremely fast and shifting. Um, doesn't have the paddle shifters, but uh, you can still get through the gears really fun. And if you say, well, it's not a Porsche because it doesn't have a manual, you haven't driven the PDK. Even the brand new GT3 RS is PDK, and Porsche will only make it that way because of how fast it shifts. So we're gonna do an ECU flash on this thing. It'll take it from 385 horsepower to just over 400, but more importantly, it'll change the entire way the vehicle drives. Quicker throttle response, um, more low end torque, more mid range, pulls all the way to red line. Uh, right now, this car is 100% stock. So as soon as we do the flash, it will start the modding process. So here we are, we've got the VR tune cable and we're going to plug this in so we can do the read of the ECU through the OBD2 port. And once it's done, we'll get the file made and then we'll flash it back to the car. All right, so the VR tune cable, our awesome little cable kit. Open it up, what do you got inside? All types of cool stuff as well as the flashing cable. So you need the OBD2 dongle. This plugs into the OBD2 port. And you need the cord to go from your USB to the dongle. The biggest thing when you get your um, VR Tune flash kit is the instruction cards. If you do not read this, then you are missing the entire point of the card and what to do. This tells you where to go, the password to download, and then follow the instructions. We also include a very cool VR Tune badge, um, which you can put on your car, toolbox. It's a very nice uh, uh, double-sided thick badge. And then we include a USB wrench you can store your tuned and original file on there and yep it looks like a wrench and I've had people ask me what do I do with the wrench but it is a USB stick you pull it apart and you can save your files there so we're gonna plug it in now and start the download process all right so we got the cable and we're going to plug this in the OBD2 port is located right on the left side of the steering wheel. Once it's plugged in, we'll run our USB part over to the computer. And now with that done, we can download the flash client per the instructions and once it's downloaded and the drivers are all working we'll go ahead and launch the flash client and start the process all right we'll show you how simple this is key to the on position so all the lights are on make sure to turn off ac radio any of that stuff you don't need anything running here so we'll go ahead and get that set all right Now I've got the screen up, so we're going to select our Porsche flash client. Of course, I've downloaded all of them for our shop PC here. Right, I've just downloaded the Porsche flash client, so now we can simply do a quick install on that. And we can run it. We've got the car turned to the on position already. So we'll go ahead and go through the prompts. Agree the terms and conditions. Next 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 now people always say oh it does not collect enough information from my car step four of the instruction says this will happen so what you got to do is you look on the product page and it'll tell you exactly what ecu the 997.2 is an sdi3 so we'll go ahead and select sdi3 if you lock it to the wrong ecu the cable's locked to that and you can't switch so it's either sdi3 or me 7.8 so we'll choose sdi3 are you sure this is the end user cable, so it's staying with the car. Yes, yes, let's lock it to this VIN. And now we wanna read ECU memory. Uh, we always wanna read the full program, not just the calibration data. 
So we're going to go ahead and start. I'm going to save this in my um, downloads. And now we are reading out the car's memory. Um, the SDI 3 is about a 2 meg file for the full calibration, so it takes uh, about five minutes, but it's fairly quick. Um, so we're running through that process now, and then we'll we'll show you the next steps. All right, we're going to program the 997.2 Carrera now with our new tune file from VR Tune. So we got the computer all ready, and dash is on, and we're going to then uh, flash the car, make some more power. So here we go. All right, dash is on, cable's in, key is on. We've selected the tune file, and now we're programming the SDI3 file that takes about five minutes. This is a full file, it's 2,000 kilobytes. So we'll program through. And with the DFI cars, which would be the 997.2, 987.2, Pion 957, uh, you do have to do a throttle body adaptation at the end, and we'll show you how that's done as well. All right, we're halfway through the programming. Um, probably another uh, three minutes here as it shows. And as soon as that finishes up, we will be able to do the throttle body adaptation and restart the car and give it a rev. All right, we just finished uh, programming, so now we do the switch ignition off. Click our little uh, bar here, it counts down. As soon as that's done, we'll turn the ignition back to the on position and do the uh, adaptations for the throttle body. It's required by any of the DFI cars. Same thing the factory tool does when it programs. And um, then we'll be able to fire it up. Okay, ECU's been programmed. So now we'll turn the ignition back on. All lights are on the dash. Under diagnostics. Run adaptation. And once the adaptation finishes, we will read and clear any trouble codes to complete the process. Okay, adaptation's been finished. Read trouble codes, make sure there's no codes. Got one that pops up. Clear trouble codes. Fault has been removed. Sometimes the faults that are generated are from um, just ECU communication, and if you cannot clear them, they're usually clear with a drive cycle or simply doing um, key off and on. So you can also check with a standard scan tool. So now the process is completed and we can fire the car up. All right, program's done. So we're going to get in here and fire up the car. Make sure everything starts okay. Fires up first time, no issues, no check engine lights. We can now blip the throttle, make sure everything's good. And that's it, the uh, VR Tune Flash is complete on this 997.2 Carrera. Um, again, goes from 385 to just over 400, really improving the overall drivability. So um, that's it, that's how the flash works for Porsche with our VR Tune Die Flash. If you have any questions, leave us a comment, shoot us an email, or visit vrtune.com and follow Instagram VR Tune. So thanks, see you at the next one.